to get the guns out of the people's hands that don't need them. And one of the struggles is we put enhancements on, but the underlying crime is much greater. Here's the bottom line. I will work to make sure that every person is safe in the city uh, within gun control from South Central to the Valley. But here's the other part of the answer. We're not going to be able, no matter how I promise you to put gun control in and try to kick them off the street, they're still going to be there. So I've got to make sure we have adequate police officers to be there for us in the Valley. Thank you. Well, this is an issue I really spent my whole adult, adult life working on. Um, I really started the anti-gun violence movement in California about 35 years ago. Uh, as, a, as an elected official, when I was in West Hollywood, I wrote the landmark bans on assault weapons, one of the very early assault weapon bans, a ban on dangerous Saturday night special handguns, which the NRA fought us up to the Supreme Court level, and we won. Um, in the state legislature, I wrote a bill, although it was in my last year, and Mike Fewer picked it up and got it passed, to require that uh, guns automatically uh, imprint an identification on the back of every bullet that's, that's fired so that we will know who the owner of the gun was in every case where a cartridge is found. So I've spent 35 years working on these issues. Thank you. And I will continue. Thank you. The, the, next, the next question is from uh, Carol Fender. And then after Carol, just uh, so that you, you, in case you forget, Beverly Guard, Don Andre, Gregory Wright, and then Robert Salter. But looking at the big picture and being very pragmatic, what is it that you want to accomplish in terms of changing this city for the better? Um, what committees do you want to serve on and what specifically would you like to accomplish? Okay. Paul? 45 seconds. Um, I'm very environmentally focused. You know what? L let's give a little bit more time on this question. Let's give, uh, let's give two minutes on this. First of all, I'm a lifelong environmentalist. I'm very environmentally focused. I want to make this the most pro-environment big city in the country, which would be a huge change from what, what we do now. We have the worst air quality. There's so many things we could do to change that. Water quality, recycling, I can hardly wait to get started on these issues. I've done a lot of work on public safety my whole life. That's a focus for me. It's been a huge embarrassment that we have 100,000 homeless on the streets in LA County. That's gonna be a huge focus for me. I have some ideas on transit. Instead of going with a subway with some new technologies that may speed up how quickly a transit system could be built from 25 years to get to the subway through to, the, to Santa Monica to perhaps a completely built out system in that time. The R area has also gotten hugely overdeveloped. I wanna slow that down dramatically. Um, and, and committees, uh, there's no shortage of committees that I'd be interested in, but the areas of focus would probably be environment and public safety for me. Thank you. The, uh, and if, if you vote to leave early, remember these city, two city councilmen, they won't fix the potholes in front of your house. But if you do leave early, please take your garbage because Jules is in charge of the cleanup committee and he's all by himself. So just take your garbage out with you. Uh, the next question is from... Uh, no, oh, geez, sorry. Great question. First of all, committees. I like to do budget and finance and efficiency. As you guys may all know, I've been an auditor for 12 years before I became an attorney, and I love rooting out the waste. What you also may remember is I put 95.5 on the ballot back in 98 with Senator Feinstein and Berman, required 95 cents of every dollar to be spent at the schools to make sure that they had enough money at the school sites and we didn't waste your tax money. Things that I want to focus on. Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. What does that mean? We've done a tremendous amount of development in the 5th District. For example, I always like to say, take the uh, new Westfield project in Century City. 39 stories, $800 million investment. You know how much is going to stay in the 5th District with that additional $20 million generated? Zero. It goes to a black hole downtown. We need to get our fair share of that for additional fire stations. We haven't added a fire station here in LA, I've been here in the 5th District in 30 years, even though we have 50,000 more people. We all are paying our fair share of the garbage fee. We now hear it's gonna go up to hire a thousand officers. I'm glad we made that commitment. But you know how many we received here in the Valley? Zero. In fact, it took 20 away from us. That has to stop. We have to start focusing on sidewalks, tree trimming, get back to the basics of what a council person's supposed to do. You're not gonna find me in Milan on a sister city trip. You're not gonna find me on city council wasting three days of our time fighting over a resolution on an issue that doesn't apply to what I'm doing, which is making sure quality of life. 
I'm going to get parking structures on our major boulevards. And I found a way to make sure that we can pay for it in these tough economic times. And most important, really, I'm going to make sure you have a voice when we cut this waste out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is uh, from Beverly Guard. No? Okay, Don Andre. Well, this is a two-part question. Uh, the first part is, uh, is there any reason why the city attorney's office should not be audited by the city auditor? And the second part of the question is, if there is no reason, then why was there a lawsuit? I think that any city department that uses your city tax dollars should automatically be audited by the city controller that you elect that's independent. Yeah, I think we're, we're not far off on, on this. I think we both agree this should be audits, but I think part of what created the situation is there was a perception that Laura Chick was doing the audit specifically because of her bad relationship with Rocky Delgadillo. That notwithstanding, I think every department should be audited, and I think Laura Chick did an incredible job during her time as controller doing just that. Okay, the next question, uh, Greg, Gregory Wright, come on down. And uh, all you'll answer this first. Okay. I can tell who you're supporting. Uh, um, my question has to do with whether or not you'll support really novel, creative new ideas to make Los Angeles as sustainable as possible, as quickly as possible, maybe even a model for other large cities in this country and around the world. Um, for example, in regard to... No, 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 no. we're not giving examples. Just that we have the question. Go ahead, David. Okay, what novel idea? Something really new. Great, thank you. That's a nice Paul Fred sticker. But here, here's, here's the truth. It's a great question, and I love the fact that it was answered, and we'll get to the difference between us. You know, we have a large developer in the city named Kasdan. And anybody know him here? Yeah. And he bought four and a half acres on the other side of the hill, Zone Light Industrial. And he wants to put 576 apartments, half million square feet uh, retail on the bottom, 11,000 car ships. You will be stuck on this side of the hill if that project goes through. Now, I'm the only one that has stand, stood up here and said, look, we need to take the rest of our light industrial in the fifth, make sure that green energy goes in there, design it here in LA, build it here in LA, don't send our money to China, keep the jobs here, and I promise you we'll have the most greenest economy in LA that we can be proud of around the world. Now, unlike Paul, he took ten thousand dollars from Mr. Katz. And two years ago, and it did so three years ago, you've accepted over ten thousand from Mr. Katz. And here's the difference. I have the ability in the backbone to stand up to these developers, make sure that they do what the law requires and build light industrial. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, do I have time to answer Ty's uh, attack and then answer the question? It's not an attack, well, it's a fact that he took 10,000. Okay, I'm okay. Oh, go ahead. You have 90 okay. seconds. Well, first, yes, it's true. I took money from Alan Kasdan for a water board race. Um, I, got to, I met Kasdan uh, in Melville Lyons first campaign for Senate. He's been a supporter, but it's never been anywhere where, where there was any connection at all. And he never had any idea, nor did I, that I was going to run for city council at this point. So it's kind of a stretch. Kasdan hasn't given me money to this uh, race, and, and he won't. Um, now, as far as something creative, uh, I, on the transit side, I think I have taken a creative look at something that no one else would dare raise, which is a different kind of transit system. I've looked at personalized rapid transit, which they have in a couple other cities. It's still somewhat in, in its infancy, but I think it deserves a look. It's basically four seat vehicles that are above ground on a track and they go to a program destination. So if you had a system that was completely built out in Los Angeles,